as he met the media for the first time in this capacity. Amongst other things, he explained what he'll be looking for in his players, his selection policies, and his relationship with his assistant coaches, in particular Mzwandi Lestik. After knowing for a while he's, he's, he's close to from my hometown where I'm from and the dispatch close to Port Elizabeth, uh, I've, I've followed him since he's made his seventh uh, um, um, start and when he was seventh player of the year and, and, and when they won the first uh, you know first tournament or first first uh, World Series with him as captain and he was player of the year uh, and now I've got a lot of respect for the way the seventh team under Paul Tru and now Neil Powell are coaching certain things about the game. Uh, I think if we can, can incorporate those things into our 15 man's game uh, and it's some specific skill which we want there which I think uh, which I've chatted to him two years ago when he was appointed and I'll definitely utilize him in, in that that regard with, with off the ball work rate stuff like that positioning yourself so I'm excited about Stick I, I think he's got the making to to, to add a lot to our coaching team and then transformation you know as I said to the guys out there when uh, I've been in, in the setup since, since the beginning uh, and I know what the, what, the, what, the, what the targets are and what the challenges are and what the obstacles are and you know I really think we, we, we can make a hell of a contribution and, and I wouldn't have taken the job if I thought that was something that's going to stop us from performing. My policy is still the same as they. Uh, I'll discuss it with them. Uh, the policy is, is less than 30 test matches. You can't play for South Africa, but in the World Cup here, uh, you can you can you can uh, consider those guys or you can select them. Uh, currently, they must play more than 30 test matches. Um, I'm saying we'll have to look. Does it really stop players from playing abroad? If 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 it's fulfilling that goal, wonderful. Uh, if it's not, we'll have to look at it. And then obviously, if we're going to pick some of those players next year in the World Cup, you know, uh, um, obviously I'll have to go through all the channels and, and get the approval for all of those things but uh, if we're going to play players next year we'll have to look at them somewhere this year you know it doesn't help you're going to say uh, a month before the world cup we're going to look at player x and he's got less than 30 test matches obviously we'll be stupid to select players uh, from abroad who's in the same uh, value or standard or caliber as players who's currently here i mean that's the purpose of the whole rule then we'll first obviously look at local players so it's very much the same as the policies currently but not cutting our nose to, to spite our face uh, obviously uh, um, I've, I've used the word alignment a lot and i'm using the word because when sitting on the outside and, and, and coaching in a different country and seeing south african players you, you, you tend to realize uh, sometimes you, you you moan because of certain obstacles but you, you don't value the, the, the quality of players that you have in South Africa. So I think before we go and say, listen, this we don't have this player and our skill level and X and Y and Z, I think we must say, listen, we've got these tremendously tough pool of players which are really battle-hardened players who's played high-level rugby from schoolboy level, which doesn't happen in other countries. So I think we must harness that. Uh, and then I think the biggest thing is you must get those guys aligned in the way they coach and the way they think. And that's not, again, telling me, telling the franchises how to coach. It's maybe us aligning to the way the franchises coach. So I think it will be foolish for me to say in this specific part of the game and that specific part of the game uh, is not right because we don't fully understand the way the franchises are, are coaching it currently. I hope that makes sense. When I say nobody is safe, I'm just trying to say that, you know, I don't think we, we can pencil in the, the, the 15 guys who started the previous 10 test matches as saying you guys are, are certainties on, on, on the match sheet. Uh, it's just saying, listen, yeah, we can't, we're not really going to build with that squad that's currently there. We'll have to go and see, okay, who's performing well, who's not performing well, uh, what's the style we want to try and play. Uh, big combinations out there so obviously with that if some of those players don't make the team they, then they won't be leaders uh, yeah. but but currently I think it's tough to say because Warren just came back from a long-term injury Warren Whiteley uh, and, and from Japan back uh, um, Eben is still injured uh, it's only two games that I've seen CR play currently in Super Rugby so they are the natural leaders that were there in the past but you know uh, and maybe it will come out of them but the guy has to be a certainty when we pencil down that, that team. The Southern